all right everyone welcome to the final episode here of the 1.8t AWP head build and now we're gonna do final final off uh, or final video to finish it up all right everyone so what we need to do is really really straightforward we got to install some cams well to install cams you also got to have a tensioner a chain all your caps and your lifters so let's do the lifter install really quick because that's one of the easiest parts uh, we're gonna flip the head over because um, we again we always work right to left and left to right what's going on Ivan what's going on Kennedy um, this episode is brought to you by Ivan just give you guys I'm gonna give a huge shout out to Ivan for hooking it up with a cool little breaker bar uh, we're probably gonna use it tonight for doing the head but thank you buddy much appreciated so to finish off your head you need lifters you need cams you need a tensioner um, you need a chain you need gaskets you need cam seals so first things first take your um, your 16 millimeter bolt here for the cam gear off set it aside slide off the cam seal that's right here that we no longer need you have to replace these every single time trash that's for the exhaust side for the intake side what's going on um, you have to remove the cam uh, sensor plate right here just remove it and set it aside that uses a 13 millimeter uh, offset I mean uh, offset I'm um, 13 millimeter socket cam uh, seal on this one pull it off and forget about it for right now so we have brand new cam seals here half moon seal set right here as well we got a cam chain we got a tensioner and we need to install lifters as well so let's get the lifter installed first and then let's go from there so what I'm gonna do is move this stuff out of the way I don't need it at the moment So we're going to turn the head around. Hey Fawn, how's it going? Okay, so in your engine bay, your engine should look like this in this direction. I'm going to raise you guys up a little bit higher so you guys have a little bit more perspective. Why am I getting the finger? Stop giving me the finger. That's all we can do. I apparently. <laughs> so um three six nine we have 12 here two four six eight here so eight exhaust 12 intake we're gonna lubricate the new li the old lifters uh we're not gonna put any new lifters in here since again this is a fresh rebuild this is not a brand new we're not doing a high performance build this is a factory rebuild okay so we're gonna use the we're gonna do the exhaust ones first And here they are. And when we do the exhaust ones, remember guys, I set this up from left to right or right to left in the same order that I took them out, I put them back in. And when I take engines apart, I always have them, no, no, I don't wanna mix that. I always have them facing me this direction. So I know when I take this all apart, and I face the engine the way I always face it when I'm in the engine bay or working on it, so I know that these two lifters here go one and two, one and two, one, two, one, two. So one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Simple. Right, I got sexy arms. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so what I need to do is, uh, I'm gonna get a paper towel.
Get some gloves. Because I think it's going to get a little messy right now. We're going to use a lot of assembly lube for this process. All right, guys? Now, one thing you have to understand, your lifters are not crammed in. They're supposed to just slide right in. Very, very important so you guys know that. So, lifter number one. We're going to clean it off really quick. They soak in oil during the waiting time, okay? So while this lifter is, while you're rebuilding your engine, make sure these are soaking in oil. Um, you don't want to leave them dry so they can build any type of corrosion on them or oxidation. That's super clean, lady. Mm -hmm. She liked your video. I'm good. She wants to know if you want to do a giveaway on your channel. Yes, I would love to. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Yeah, she's all like, yeah, just set, she said set one up. She gave you what you'd be able to give them. And she says once you announce a winner, just send her the information mm -hmm. and she can mail it out. Awesome. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna use a lot. You guys heard that. Hopefully you guys heard that. Super clean is hooking it up for you guys for a contest to give away a whole. Now you get a bottle of the original super clean and the can of the super clean aerosol. There you go. So some cool super giveaways. So you guys heard that. <laughs> okay, so. So right here, and my hands don't crack, uh, Kennedy. It's a little different. My hands, I just don't want to wash my hands, <laughs> pretty much. So soak the lifter as much as you can in assembly lube. You're going to put it in, and it should just go in like that. No effort, just tap it in, and it should slide right in. No, for one person, uh, Ivan, we're going to pick a random person. We'll just do a random, we'll pick a random person from the uh, the channel. We'll, we'll set it up really quick and we'll do a live giveaway. It'll be fun. Maybe we could do a question, a questionnaire or something like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out. There we go. You can do a part of the bean boozle, what is it? Oh, the, uh, the, uh, oh, of our fundraiser on, on Saturday. Yeah, we can do that. That would be fun. You're supposed to have the bean boozle for that? Yeah, it's supposed to be the, uh, the the jelly bean contest, the blindfold eating contest, uh, the uphill razor race contest. What? Uphill razor race. You know, use a razor. The scooter. The scooter. Yeah. And ride it up the cr crazy steep hill. Who's doing this uh, We're trying to find people, so... I have to post it. It's Wednesday. What's Wednesday? Today's Wednesday? It's Wednesday already. Yeah, I know. I'll find somebody. Don't worry. Well, we need to get like six or uh, six or ten people here at the house. I said six to ten. <laughs> Me and Kennedy will be there. Online. <laughs> the weird flavor tasting game for adults. So this whole procedure is super quick. It's just you gotta do 20 of them, so. They have a fiery challenge one. <laughs> as long as you didn't damage the uh, the sides of your um, your spring location, your lifter location, these all should slide in. What's going on, Pacheco?
Perlene, did you ship out Pacheco stuff? Oh, no, it's here. That's the one I didn't drop off. Oh. So, George Pacheco, um, just give you a heads up. We already packed everything, but my wife forgot to ship it out. <laughs> but it's all ready to go, buddy. So, just give you a heads up. I didn't forget about you. It's already ready to go. I'm just, I just, we just forgot. <laughs> we get busy, you know? So, exhaust ones. Repeat the process for the intake side. Right here, we have the three, six, nine, twelve intake lifters. Oh man, whoo, tight back. Now the crazy thing is about about lifters is that lifters use a lot of assembly lube. No, it's not that heavy. It's just we forget, buddy. <laughs> we had another. We had a bunch of prior orders, and we just just got busy and just forget about it. Man, it sucks. Believe me. And then my wife got injured, so that kind of added to the burden a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It'll go out tomorrow. It's leaving tomorrow, buddy. These suck. They always stick right here. It's a really, really snug fit, so. I know you're messing with me. That's why we're, we're not angry, man. Don't worry about it. I am. Oh, my wife is apparently. <laughs> No, we all, I take everything as a joke unless, you know, unless said otherwise. Believe me, I can take a joke all day. All right, we're almost done. That's right, 1.8 T's, never lose, bruh. All right, we're getting close, guys. This is the part that you guys are waiting for. Um, is actually how to do the can. I'm going to teach you guys a really cool trick, all right? Uh, Isaiah, yeah, you can do that. That's pretty much a, AWP uh, heads uh, are identical to AEB heads except for the ports. That's it. That's the only difference between them. And, oh, they don't have a VVT at all. So that's it. Though you can use AWP cams, they're identical, especially as AEB heads, they're all the same cams. Uh, they don't have anything special about them. All right, so all 20 lifters are installed, super, super easy. What we gotta do now, before we do anything else, is we gotta put some assembly lube on these rockers, not rockers, but the cam, where the cam sits on. I don't know what you wanna call it. I guess the cam surface area. Soak it with assembly lube. Do not be shy. Get it all sticky, icky, icky with some assembly lube here. All right. If you want to, you can soak these right, all the valves, lifters, I mean, with assembly lube on top of them. Perfectly fine. It's not going to hurt anything. What we're trying to do is create a really, really good lubricated surface because um, you want things to go on 
and run as pretty much lubricated as possible. Uh, what's the status on the VR6 engine? Well, it's been raining here in San Diego, so I've been not been able to touch it um, due to rain. Uh, I did finish up a lot of other modifications on it that are ready to be filmed. I mean, that already been filmed that I got to post. I'm actually going to do some of that tonight. Um, <laughs> exactly, Kenny. There's no such thing as too much lube. <laughs> so there is more updates coming i'm just trying to get things going weather's been really crappy here in san diego so um it's supposed to rain again tomorrow yeah and it's supposed to rain again so <clears throat> so right here we're on the exhaust side and here's the intake side so let's get the exhaust cam first now what's really really important on your exhaust cam to focus on this little notch and it's hard to show you guys, but there's a little tiny notch right here. Hopefully you guys see that right there. That notch is your timing mark for the exhaust side. Okay? Yeah, set that in there. You're going to take them out, but I'm just showing you guys what it's going to look like. So over here, on the intake side, there's a notch as well, right here. Now this notch is off-centered, okay? What's going on, banging? Okay. Now what I want to show you guys is that from this notch here, okay, where the chain sits on, there's a there's going to be a um, a link, okay? Now. From this notch all the way over to this notch, there's 16 links in total. So I'm not going to put the tensioner in here because I want to show you guys what it looks like, okay? Because this is what a lot of people get confused about. On this notch here the starting link is the one that's furthest to the left from the notch okay it's not the one to the right of the notch it's the one to the left of it all right guys and we're going to count from here all the way to over here to 16. so from this notch we're going to go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Now this is the 16th link. This one is the one that sits right there. Okay? This one actually lines up with the notch. Okay? Uh, Isaiah, no. You don't need to replace the chain every time you replace the tensioner. It's not required. It is recommended. Okay? Now... This one sits directly underneath the notch, okay? That one actually lines up. This one over here is left, okay, guys? It's super important you understand that prior um, to doing any other work. A lot of people think it's just 16 from here to here, and it's not. It's always one over, and then 16, and one in the middle. It's how the Bentley manual states it. It's how it's done, period, okay? Next step, you can do this one of two ways, okay, guys? You can move your head off, okay? Which I'm gonna do instead. So we're gonna move the head back. We're gonna put the cams on the table. All right, because we're going to show you how to do it here, and then we're going to put it back in. So this is your hydraulic tensioner for the chain. It's oriented this way. It goes in just like this. All right, guys. It sits in like that. We're going to grab the tensioner. 
slide it in through the top first. Don't worry about the links. If they're off, they're off. Okay? And that's how it sits in there, just like that. Okay? What you're going to do, pick up the cam. You're going to slide it down. Now, right now, I'm not going to install the gasket because I'm not there yet. Okay? What I'm going to do is confirm my links before I do anything else. Okay? So, this one is on point, but this one's off. This guy over here is all the way to the right, and that's incorrect. We need to find out why. So, again, we got to count our 16. So, this is centered. We're going to go from here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16. So this one right here is the 16th link. We need to find out how to make this link, pretty much this notch, go to that link. So this is what the cool part is. We're going to show you how to do this in the car. This is what you guys need to focus very, very close on because this is a trick on how to replace the cam chain tensioner, this half moon seal and the metal seal in your car. This is the process on how you're gonna do it in your car so you don't pay the thousand dollar job to replace this, uh, replace this one part. Most shops are gonna charge you anywhere from 600 to thousand dollars to replace this one part on top of the cost of the part. All right, I'm gonna teach you guys that really quick. It's super, super easy. So imagine, well, we're not gonna imagine, we're gonna put them on. Um, here it is. I don't need a bushing. <laughs> I'm not installing them. I'm just going to set them in place so you guys can see what I mean. So we're just going to assume uh, Frankie, yes, they have the exact same timing marks. You just install them like normal, okay? Um, how high can you rev without upgrading spring and retainers? You can rev to high hell. It's really how fast you rev to that revolution is what matters. <laughs> um, so Imagine this side of your cam is all bolted down. All right, guys, I'm not going to bolt it down right now, but just bear with me. This side of the cam is completely bolted down. Um, on this side, the intake side, you take off all the cam caps, okay? Just like if you were removing it. You're going to take this guy off or loosen it a little bit. Uh, primarily this side right here, the in intake side, you can leave the uh, exhaust side bolted down, but the intake side will have to be um, unbolted pretty much here. So what's going to happen is that the tensioner will have to be unbolted as well. So one, two, three, four bolts. So the tensioner should have all this play. Okay, so imagine that you're inside your car and this is again, you just need to do the service because this thing's failing on you. All right. We need a visual marker. Do you have a um, some whiteout, Ben? Um, a pen or 
Something I can just mark it with? I have a roller one. That's fine. Okay. I might work, I don't know. Or you want a pen? Or a pen, that's fine. Like a, a, mark, a Sharpie? Yeah, but it can't be black. You want a red one? That's fine. Okay. I got red or blue. Red's fine. Thank you. Okay. So hopefully you guys can see this on the camera. If not, sorry. So that's number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. This is number 16. Okay. So this cam is bolted down. This one's completely unbolted. You're going to grab this cam. And what's going to happen? You got to have this tool installed just so you guys know. This is the cam tool. Let me see if I have one out here for you guys to see. This is called the, the cam tensioner tool. This is what it looks like. This is what uh, compresses the cam tensioner just enough so you have some slack. But you require this tool to do this job. Uh, all new cam tensioners come with this, okay guys? This tool is incorporated with almost every cam tensioner you purchase. So you have the cam tensioner tool installed right here. What you're going to do, you're going to lift this cam up. And you're going to take it out. Kind of like this. And what's going to happen is that this slop... It's going to give you it's going to give you some slop here. Come on. To pull the cam out, okay? You're going to turn the cam to where it belongs. Where it needs to be. Come on, buddy. There we go. Nope. I'm off by a tooth. This is where you gotta, you gotta play with it. Make sure your your cam does not lose. Make sure this marker does not change its spot. The one that matters that you're changing is this guy over here. You pick the. You should be able to pick up the tensioner. Should be able to let you lock it in place. It's not giving me the opportunity right now because it's really oily right now. There it is, there it is. All right. So this is supposed to, this isn't the right spot. It's just trying to get it underneath it. There we go. What matters there? So we're set now. Again, this is the procedure. So you'll see here now this notch is lined up with this one. And this one is off to the left. That's how you know you got it right. It's, it's again, it's, it's a little finicky because you're going to, 
you're working with a really tight space and when this cam is locked down you can if you want to unbolt half of the caps or even almost 90 it'll give you a little bit of slack but don't remove the cam okay this cam cannot come off this has to stay on what really matters is the tensioner and the uh, intake cam coming off because you have to rotate it to get it back in exactly wiggle it just a little bit and it'll get in it'll go in i guarantee you just watch it go in uh, the chain is set distance you can't change its distance at all what's giving you the ability to do that is the tensioner here has slop up and down and that's what's giving you the ability to put it in and wiggle wiggle it around until you get it in and that's what matters now if I set this and I count my links one more time we always count our links here's the notch okay the notch is the link is left of the notch so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 is dead on centered with the notch. That's how we know this is timed and you're done. All right, your cam is set, it's timed. Now what you gotta do next, you can now mess around with this, move it up and down. These won't move, these won't rotate unless you take them out of the chain, it's not gonna move its spot. If this moves, this moves and you can always just rotate them back uh, in place and they'll always be timed. That's the beauty of a chain. Um, so now at, at this point in time, you have the ability now to put in your new gaskets, you put in your half moon seal, you put in the, uh, the, the cam tensioner seal uh, while you're there, and then don't bolt it down, just put it in place, bolt everything down on the cam side, put your main cam cap back on, over here on the end you're gonna put all your caps all your caps and then torque everything spec put your cam seals in here and now once you have everything torqued to spec you can pull the tensioner tool out and put a valve co put your valve cover gasket on and your valve cover head is built that is the that is the procedure to pretty much do your entire head after that, we're gonna do all that right now, but after that, we're gonna go from here, and we're gonna go over to the engine and put the head on the engine for you guys as well. So, let's get to work, cause uh, yeah, we got stuff to do. <laughs> These are back. cam caps are done now time to torque everything down we'll tighten everything down first and then torque it to spec so now we know the order uh one two oh wait one uh two three four five and then ending same thing one two three four five and then the last one um the cam caps the last ones always point out they don't point in so that's how you know which one goes here and here. Because if this one went over here, they'll be pointing back in, which is not what we're supposed to do. And then these guys, they have an arrow pointing this way, and this one has an arrow pointing this way. 
So these are all Torx. I believe they're T30s or T35s. Let me confirm that. Nope. Yeah, T30. So we're going to grab our assembly lube. You guys have any questions while you guys are watching? Here to help. Hopefully that uh, tensioner DIY helped a lot because a lot of you guys should be replacing that by now. You guys have some pretty old motors out there. That cam chain tensioner should be replaced every 80 to 100,000 miles. They don't last forever guys. Now this guy on the end, we have to use RTV for this guy, so I'm not going to bolt this one in uh, yet. I'm going to bolt that one on last. Alright, give me a minute and I'll be right back. See, I doubt myself all the time. He goes like this. Sorry, guys. Two, five, four, three, uh, two. I had the orientation. I had the um, the numbers in the right order. I mean, the the directions in the right way. Just the numbers in the wrong order. So. Yeah, after you tighten it all up, um, you can show a house how they line up on the cam and the links. Yeah, that's, I mean, again, no problem, Rob. I can definitely do that. So.
Now you always want to walk these down. Uh, more importantly, the Snyder Cut of the Justice League, really worth watching? Yes. It fixes everything. <laughs> it was actually really good. I definitely watched it. I actually want to rewatch it again just to just to catch any uh, any other stuff I actually missed. So yes, I definitely think it's worth it. My wife watched it all with me. Come on. She enjoyed it. And she didn't fall asleep watching it. <laughs> Cause she always falls asleep and everything. Yes, we are going to be using ARP head studs. I never use uh, factory uh, bolts um, just because ARP head studs give you that extra peace of mind. Um, they work a lot better than factory uh, studs for sure. And those are right here. Bam. Got a head stud kit right here. Now the reason why I recommend you guys walking these down when you install these because you get a you'll get something where it snags right here. So who's my favorite Batman or Superman? Batman all day. Because Batman defeats Superman multiple times in the DC universe. Cause he already has a plan on how to defeat him. That's why I love him. He always has has a way to defeat anybody if they go rogue. Even himself. Yeah, I love Batman. What's going on, Tim Testa? Okay, inspecting. I don't see anything bad here, any scoring. Um, it's not wanting to go into this little little port here where it's supposed to go into. My dude, yeah, I can't even love Superman. Uh, it's a family debate constantly. <laughs> not much, chilling. We can't be friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean Superman I love Superman like don't get me wrong he's super cool and all that but Batman uses brain all day over brawn he doesn't have powers no superpowers and this guy can defeat Superman if he wants to I'm just saying So, it's one of those things, is just like, who should I root for? I mean, Christopher Reed. <laughs> Christopher Reed, that's a different guy. That's not, that's not the Superman we're talking about, though. <laughs> we're talking about just comic book Superman in general. Okay, Christopher Reed, Superman, Michael Keaton, Batman. No, that's a, that's a horrible comparison. <laughs> Alright, so this one is being weird. So I gotta thread this in by hand, figure out what's going on here, because this is not acting right. It's threading in nicely, 
but it's getting a little hard. Yeah, Superman turned it backwards. Why? Because he's superhuman. You know? That's cool and all, but at the same time, I mean, Batman's all like, well, let me uh, go find some kryptonite that's been hidden on Earth for God knows when with my paycheck and uh, make kryptonite powder and then put it in a bullet you know so whenever Superman decides to be an a-hole I'm gonna lace the tip of the bullet with kryptonite so it actually hits him pierces his skin and then the bullet shatters in him and kills Superman I mean come on come on I'm sorry, man. Superman, again, I like Superman. I got nothing against Superman at all. It's just that Batman's just like, hey, I can stop any of my super friends when I want to. And no one thinks about it. You know, no one bats an eye at me because I'm not super. I'm just a human with a really good paycheck. You know? His superpower is money. Yeah, his superpower is he's rich. What's going on, Juan? Uh, coolest person in the Marvel Universe? Wolverine. Logically makes no sense. He's bulletproof. Yes, he is bulletproof to normal bullets, Kennedy. But not kryptonite. Not kryptonite. kryptonite literally makes him human. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. I mean, literally, a rock makes him weak. You don't even need to touch him. He just needs to be near a rock. And it makes him weak. <laughs> think about that. Just think about how dumb that sounds. <laughs> it's like, hey, bro, here's a rock. Oh, cool. And then, ah, uh, I'm dying. <laughs> okay, so Marvel Universe. Actually, Kennedy, that's already been proven wrong. Uh, I read a lot of comics, Kennedy. I have over like... I think I have over like 20 or twenty or 30,000 comics on file. I might share it with you. But yes, there's a, actually a universe where... Batman literally just shoots a bullet at him and kills him. I mean, it's... It's a thing. You know? And that's how he stops. That's one way he stops him. Um, there's another way. Uh, and if you guys ever watched the re, if you ever read, if he, uh, there's literally an episode where, not episode, there's a comic where Batman literally just fights him just for fun. If you read the original uh, Batman versus Superman, Batman is like in his seven sixties, I think, or in his seventies, and gives him an ass whooping like a literal ass whooping just for fun okay <sighs> just so Batman can prove a point to Superman that hey don't mess with me because you'll die you know and Superman never um, never in besides like the um, alter universes Superman never messes with Batman, never like befriends him um, because of that reason. Superman knows that if Batman, if you ever cross um, Batman, 
you're gonna die. I mean, you're just gonna die. Yeah, uh, he will. He'll. He'll know how to stop you, and it's not gonna be in a good way. <laughs> well, because they don't cross each other. Again, Superman's too kind of a person to to kill anybody, so he won't do that. Number one. And that's what makes him like the perfect human. You know? But again, there's a comic book. Read it up. It's really cool. Um, about how Batman pretty much defeats Superman with no problems, no hesitation. Alright, there's really an issue with this bolt here, and I'm not liking it. For some reason, there's something causing this one not to go all the way down. And I'm not a fan of it right now. What superhero or superhero group would be best to party with? The <laughs> Jersey Shore. <laughs> um... Personally, I think X Factor would be a really fun group to hang out with because they got Deadpool. The Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy would be cool, but I mean, they're not as cool because like only like two of them drink. Are all the X Men? No, the X Men Cyclops is too much of a little <laughs> little pansy. But you got Logan. Yeah, I mean Wolverine will probably get all enraged and. You got Gambit. Gambit, I mean, I would love to hang out with Gambit. Remy LeBeau all day. Uh, I, dude, hell yeah. Make me some gumbo. The Cajun Mm-hmm. See, I got nothing against that. Suicide Squad would be cool, but then, you know, what's it called? Um, the shark, the man shark, will probably end up, you know, getting drunk and hurting someone or killer croc. Uh, yeah, I mean, they're just going to go nuts and then you know probably hurt you and then that's the end of that see it's acting like it's cross-threaded but it's not cross-threaded that's what's really annoying it goes all the way down with no problems okay well I'm gonna work on all these other ones because all the ones work fine I'll deal with that one last yeah see I'm down for that uh, Logan and Captain America go drinking. Yeah, they, they'll never, um, they'll never get drunk. That's the problem. <laughs> exactly, because they can't get drunk. <laughs> Imagine Logan, Captain America, Deadpool, all trying to get drunk. It's like, no, nope, none of us can get drunk because of our super healing powers. I think I picked a Futurama crew. Oh, but they're not considered. They're not comic book. <laughs> But yeah, I would definitely the super uh, not the super the Futurama the to the Planet Express. Oh yeah, all day, man. With Amy Wong, yang 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 yang. And uh, Bender, oh dude, Bender Rodriguez, all day. No, these are not stretch bolts. <laughs> Get Wonder Woman drunk and joyriding in her invisible jet. <laughs> exactly, hang out with Zoidberg. <laughs> <laughs> the professor. <laughs> Good news, everybody. I'm drunk! <laughs> and Hermes. And Hermes, hey man! <laughs> yep. My sandwich! No man, me manwich! <laughs> so dumb. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
no, nothing's wrong with this bolt. It looks like it is, but it's not cross-threaded. I think there's something in the actual port, so we're going to clean it up right now. I got to take it out and clean it because I don't want to mess it up. But I'm going to finish everything else. It's not loose. It's going in too tight. But it's not cross-threading. The threads actually look factory. They don't look like they're being uh, cross-threaded. That's why I'm kind of tripping. I think the, uh, the threads need to be chased out. So I'm going to try to blow out the hole and see if anything comes out of there. There might be like a rock or something in there maybe. First time I ever had a uh, head do this before. I gotta finish this tonight, so exactly chase it and Annie sees it. That's right. Now I'm going two-handed with these because um, the cam is is uh, the lifters are holding the, the cam up, so it makes it um, hard to torque these down. So, but I'm doing it by hand, not by ratchet. And then what I do is. I get them all the way down until they stop and that's it and then I do the same thing on the one I just did all the way down stop and that's it now the reason why this one's harder than this side the lobes are up and the lobes are down over here so this one's compressing this one is not compressing so um, I cams don't go in dry you have to lube them up um, the bolt going dry, yes. But not the cams. You don't want to run these dry. So this is the one that has, that's acting a full, and this one too now. So. So typically what happens is when these guys go down and you tighten them down, I don't know what's going on. Um, I am not having a good night right now with these bolts. This is really annoying. So typically, again, what you do is you walk them left and right so they slide down nice and smooth. Yeah, there's nothing wrong here. What the hell? Yeah, nothing here. And when they hit this spot right here, this is a notch. So... It's supposed to slide right in place. There should be nothing to hold them down. Like it wants to stop there. I don't know why. This one goes all the way down. But this one wants to stop right here. Makes no sense. And they're not cross threaded at all. That's what's really, really weird. I don't see any metal debris in here or anything. That's why it's tripping me out because I 
I don't hear any grinding. Right, let me get my air gun. I'm just curious if there's like a deb some debris in there or something, but. Sorry about that guys, turn the volume down. It might be very loud. Yeah, see like, it goes like a quarter of the way and then that's it. Nothing in there. And I unbolted this entire head by myself, so I know these weren't cross threaded. But it's really pissing me off right now. Let's see if something comes out with the fly and screw. that is it's like sand you guys can see that it's like a sand inside of there it's kind of weird Turn your guys' volume down, okay? Look at that. It's like sand. I don't know where this is from. But there's a lot of it in here. And that's not good. Alright, turn your volume down, guys. Jeez, I'm getting it all over my face. There's a lot in here. What is it? It's like dirt. Mm. <coughs> yeah, I can hear it. You can hear it grind. I don't think it's Loctite, it's something else. Because Loctite will have a color to it, like a red or a blue. And you don't use Loctite for these bolts. Because they only go on like with, uh, I think, 15 foot pounds. They don't go on really tight.
That is super weird. I've never had any of these blocks ever, heads ever have that in them. Turn your volume down, guys, all right? Yeah, it keeps coming out. Like, so much more keeps coming out. And look, oh, crap, it's all in here, too. I have to wipe all that down. That sucks.